Senator Kruger, I'd just like to ask you the same questions I asked last week. When the bill, excuse me, what cuts, if any, are made by the series of bills that we're asked to pass on today? Total what? amount of dollars of cuts. Total amount of dollars. Through you, Mr. President, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of $100 million. All right, so uh, would Senator Kruger continue the yield? Senator Kruger, do you continue Yes, I do. Adding that $100 million to the $1.1 billion of cuts cumulative from last week, after passing these budget bills today, we would have a total of $1.2 billion in cuts. Is that correct? No. No. Uh, would Senator Kruger tell me how I'm wrong in adding the $1.1 billion, which was his number last week, to $100 million today to come up with $1.2 billion? First, I'll ask Senator Kruger, do you yield for Yes, I do. And, okay. Mr. President, for the purposes of clarity, let me go through a series of numbers, and maybe that will put us better into focus. Firstly, the initial budget cut was $9.1 billion. In the December DRP, we cleared up $692 million of that shortfall. Through, a, through the period of reductions, we have provided for the following. In health care, $774 million. In local government aid, $325 million. In human services, $211 million. In mental hygiene, $48 million. Other cuts, totaling $52 million. And state operations, including workforce, uh, $1.2 for a total cut of 2.620. Uh, Other, oh, by the way, and then just for further clarity, other actions that were taken were tax audit and recovery of 221 million, non-recurring actions of 565 million, federal FMAP extension of 989 million, other actions of 1.775 million. Tobacco revenues of 440 million. Total gap closing actions of 5.527, remaining gap to close, uh, which would approximately be 40% of the outstanding, would be 3.651. Senator DeFrancisco. Would Senator Ye Kruger yield to another question? Senator Kruger, will yield to yes, another question? Yes, I do, Mr. President. I'm not quite sure how raising taxes is a cut, because you indicated in your summary there raising cigarette taxes by so many millions. I'm not quite sure what the number was, because I, I lost track. All I remember is last week you told me cumulatively up to last week there was $1.1 in cuts, and today you're telling me there's another $100 million in cuts. To me, that sounds like $1.2 billion in cuts, leaving a balance from the $9.2 billion of $8 billion to go. Now, you're saying to me that I'm wrong. Is that correct? Through you, Senator. Mr. President. Firstly, what we were talking about last week were the two bills that were on the floor. And, th and those were the numbers that we used to reflect actions being taken on those two bills, not the cumulative effect of all actions being taken. Would Senator Kruger yield to a question? Senator yes, Kruger, I do, yield. Mr. President. Excluding revenue enhancers or taxes and fees, as others call them, up till today, if we pass every one of these bills, how much in actual cuts has would have been accomplished according to your computation? Through you, Mr. President, the actual cuts are 2.620. All right, so let's take that number, although I'm not quite sure how it changes week to week, but let's take that number of 2.6 million. Would Senator Kruger yield to another question? Yes, I do, Mr. President. Uh, the gap that we've been told for weeks has been 9.2 billion. It may be more because money might be not be coming, uh, uh, FMAP money may not be coming from the federal government. So if I subtract 9.2, excuse me, 2.6, the cuts that you say are will be effective as of today from the 9.2 gap, that leaves $6.6 .6 billion of gap left. 
to fill somehow, whether it revenue enhancers, as you call them, taxes and fees, as we call them, or borrowing or whatever. Is that correct? To you, Mr. President, no. Uh, Senator Kruger, would you yield to another question? Senator yes, Kruger, I do, yield. Mr. President. Senator Kruger, would you tell me what you believe the gap is after passing all of the bills today, if these bills were passed? As uh, through you, Mr. President, as I had indicated previously, the remaining gap to close is 3.651. Uh, now, Senator Kruger, would you yield to another question? Yes, I do, Mr. President. Uh, now, if you take away the taxes that are being proposed in what's happening today, uh, well, tell me, strike that. Can you tell me what taxes are being imposed today in order to reach the $3.6 billion gap that remains? To you, Mr. President, the revenue enhancer that we're talking about today, or the so-called tobacco or cigarette tax, would be $290 million. All right. If we add the two, let's make it three. Senator D. Francisco, do you wish Senator Kruger to yield? So, yes, I do. So by your current numbers, cuts were $3.6 billion. Is that, excuse me, of the $3.6 billion gap that's left, $300 million to get to that number is from taxes of cigarettes, correct? To you, Mr. President, approximately yes. All right. So without taxes today, Senator Kruger, and would you answer this question, without the taxes that are being proposed, we would, we would have, Minus. as of today, a $4.2 billion yeah. gap. Correct? Senator Kruger, do you continue to yield Excuse to San Francisco? Excuse me, $3.9 billion gap. Right. Senator Kruger, do you continue yes. to yield? Yes, I do, Mr. President, and as the Senator pointed out, it would be approximately 3.9. All right, of that three, Senator Kruger, one last question. Do you continue to yield, Senator Kruger? Yes, I do. What is the um, percentage of the budget that will have been passed as of today, assuming that the budget is the amount that the governor proposed when he presented his budget? To you, Mr. President, after we're completed passing the bills today, in anticipation total, with total gap closing actions, 5.527, uh, which would be 60 percent approximately, again, of the budget. Now, uh, I do have one last question. Senator, Senator Kruger, you continue to yield for yes, one last question. Okay. This $3.9 billion gap, uh, can you tell me, uh, strike that, have, has the Democrat conference been having conferences about what options that remain in order to fill that uh, gap that you just referred to? To you, Mr. President, um, negotiations are ongoing. No, that, was, that wasn't my question. Uh, would Senator K uh, Kruger yield to a question? Senator Kruger, we continue to yield for questions. Yes, I do, Mr. President. What options are being considered by the Democrat conference that no doubt you've been briefed because, you know, you want to be informed of what's going on as chair of finance. What options are being discussed or are out there to complete the closing of this $9.2 billion gap? Because we're running out of budget here. We're running out of time. We're running, thank you. Through you, Mr. President, we're running out of time. We're not running out of budget. Um, I guess all actions are on the table. Uh, Senator Kruger, would you yield to another question? Senator Kruger, we continue to yield for yeah, another I question. I guess this is all part of the last question. Yes, yeah. I do, Mr. President. Well, I keep, I, it's, uh, Senator Kruger, uh, can you tell me what tax and fee options are being discussed now that we may be faced with n within days because of the governor's uh, June 28th deadline, which are being discussed so we can start we thinking about them on this side of the aisle? Well, through you, Mr. President, as I said, negotiations are ongoing. Cuts as well as revenues uh, projections are on the table. And uh, as, the, uh, as the negotiations go forward, we'll have a clearer picture of exactly what that package means. Thank you, Senator Kruger. Thank you.